this is a view of the timbers that we're using to frame up the basement. There's 10 by 10 posts and headers. That's the frame wall where the power panel goes on. So we're going to set up the rest of the timbers. And then over here is uh, the, the place where the firewood will be put in. And then a concrete a ceiling. And then the firewood, the, the stove will be below me. And that will heat up the concrete floor and the, and the dirt on top of it for our garden and maybe greenhouse on top. So this is a wood storage area. And the house is over from here over. Uh, then the container for the root cellar is over there. So we got the pressure treated plate on the concrete wall. It's a foam block uh, foundation. So this will be the kitchen area, dining room over there, great room, and then bedroom over that way. So we'll get some more of these posts and beams up. Here we are installing our new septic tank for the new house. The hole was dug this morning by Philip standing right there. So he's going to lower that tank in the in the hole for our septic system. There's the framing lumber. Wayne and Isaac are framing uh, the walls underneath all the beams. So we got the beams up now, and on the outside we're putting the rim, that top layer of beams is the rim where the floor system will go in be inside of it. So these are 10 by 10 timbers with a uh, frame wall in between. Joe's done this a time or two. That septic truck from Granite Concrete out of Libby has put thousands of these tanks in the ground. We'll let them do that. And we're happy with the progress. It's kind of a mess right now, but we're getting some beams put up, so we'll see you next time. The tank is disappearing into the hole, and that's my timber frame basement. This part is the wood house, which will have the greenhouse uh, on top of it, and that's the main house. That's our crane swinging logs in, our uh, timbers in place, framing, and the septic tank. From my mound here, I got a good view of the mountain. This will be our vegetable field. Our drain field for the septic system will be on that flat area right there. You need an undisturbed soil, uh, fairly flat, and that's where it's going to go in right there. That'll drain from this tank. So I'm going to show some progress what happened today. Wayne and Isaac framed up some more walls. I had to run some errands, but I got back and Isaac and I put it on a bench up front here by the windows. I'm going to show that to you. So there's a, a basement bedroom, a couple windows, office, greenhouse area above that uh, area there. But here is what we just did. Something we just kind of thought of last minute. Hadn't been planned in at all. So first we started by putting this big log on the bottom. 
It's about 14 inches thick, wide and high. This will be the entrance door to the basement through these timbers, right in through here. Now what Isaac is sitting on is a four by 20. It's a four inches high, thick, and 20 inches wide. It's a massive piece of larch. And walk on it, show them how strong that is. We got that screwed in. And where Isaac is walking is going to be windows framed with timbers. And that will be a bench like to sit on. It's just an afterthought. We thought of putting that right in with these timbers. And the stove will be over in this corner where the ladder is at. So when you come in, be warm right here in this corner. And maybe people will sit or even sleep on that bench. It's really, really massive. So I'm pretty happy. I want to wonder what Rebecca is going to say when she sees it. She doesn't know about it yet. So that's some of the framing they did today. With uh, This will be a, a timber. These are 10 by 10 timbers. So uh, walking in through into the bedroom here, this will be a guest bedroom. Um, right here, we, we just decided to go with a couple windows here. This looks out at the view, a 4040, which is four feet by four feet window here with ventilation to open. On the side, on the left side of the person sitting here, you have the 3040, which is three feet wide, four feet high, looking out at that view toward the direct south. And uh, the, uh, the needles are colorful this time of year, so they can see the, the hills over there that way. So sitting at this, like maybe a desk or a table here at the bedroom, you, you got that view, and turning to the left is that view. And then lots of room for a bed here against the flat wall and then this will be a walk-in closet today also we got the uh, electrical panel mounted on the other side of that panel there i'm going to slip through this wall this will be our office that also has a 4040 window um, with ventilation for the desk so we can see the view from the office uh, the paperwork and all those not fun things to do in this office and this uh, will be the door back here and then like the uh, utility room where, where the hot water heater and the power panel is. We have live power charging a battery right now. And the 200 amp panel. Can't really see it under the tarp, but this is covered so the rain doesn't get it. That's live power coming in now. And a four uh, outlets right there. And below it, four more outlets. So we have some power to plug in things and then while this house is being built, we've got live power for our tools right there. And this is really cool. So that's a permanent uh, 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 setup power, their power panel, that will feed the house. So the room I'm in is uh, kind of the catch-all room where the power comes in and, and things are stored, tools. And this goes into what will be the, uh, the big firebox, the stove and the wood area. I'll walk out here around the corner of these beams. This will be wall right there, but this, where I'm going through, is going to be an opening into the main main room. And that goes on over there with bathroom and utility, uh, laundry room. The center area will be the an open area in the basement for a game area and um, a sitting area. So I am looking forward to using that bench. Thanks so much for watching. Hi there. We are getting ready to put the subfloor on. You can see the rim I put on the outside. And the guys are putting the eye joists, the BCIs, on the floor. And so that will be our full basement. We've got the paper on the back of the concrete. This is a asphalt wrap that goes on the ICF insulated concrete form blocks. And over here we have the mountains threatening snow. We are racing the snow to get the, the cap on, the, the subfloor on. So I'll explain what we're doing. I'll start over on my left. At the far end is that 45 foot container. We've got that buried that will be our root cellar to store our fruits and vegetables, our uh, produce from the field. Then it connects to the, the bottom of the tower. That's our bedroom in the back that back a square and then it comes into the house here a bathroom and Rebecca's sewing room back there 
This is the center great room where they're putting the joists in right now. That will be open vaulted ceiling all the way to the peak. The center of the house right there. I'll expand so you can see it right. That area is going to be the center glass looking south into the pond, into the hills there. Then you come over here. On this area is the dining room right there in the kitchen facing the mountains. And that's the edge of the house. Then it goes to the concrete cap will go on top of that area there. That's the wood house. So again, we're racing the snow. We're gonna to try to get this subfloor on today. We'll see how far we can get. Well, this is noon, lunchtime, and we got all the joists on for the subfloor. It's exactly 12 o'clock. What a nice morning's work. So I'm taking the guys down to get some warm soup at the store. And I'm gonna take a walk through to show what the guys got done this morning. I'll go through the basement. This is the timber frame posts and framing in between the posts. And they are hungry, a hungry bunch. So I'm going in this, this is gonna be the French door to the basement. And wow, there's the joist. What a nice sight. These will be exposed beams in the basement. This one carries the stair, shortens the span a little bit. I'll take a look around. This is a center room in the basement. It'll be all open. It's 22 feet wide. We span this with 11 and 7 8 BCIs a foot, 12 inches on center. And these are strong enough to span 22 feet but we shortened the span with that timber came over for the stair framing. So this is the center area where we'll have a, a place for the youth and people to gather and play and hang out. This will be our kitchen for meat preparation and the canning and so on. There's a bathroom and laundry in here, but I wanna get the floor. Let me go up the stair. My son Jalen made this timber stair a couple days ago. So here we are. What a nice, nice stairway. And this is what we got done this morning. Starting over there is the tower or the bedroom in that area. Bathroom and sewing area for my wife. This is a center area. Great room. Dining room kitchen. I'm going to walk out and get a backward view. This morning I was working on backfilling the dirt into the foundation from that pile. I'll still get that done this afternoon and it's partly filled. But you don't want to fill the backfill until the, the subfloor is on when we get this plywood on. That's what we'll work on this afternoon is getting all the, the OSB it's called. Uh, for the floor sheeting. Once that's nailed in place, then I can backfill the dirt against the walls. This will have a concrete cap because it'll be my wood storage. The Skidster track loader is an excellent machine to move dirt. It's partially frozen. And this is the day before Thanksgiving, so uh, we're threatening some cold weather, but so far only a couple inches of frost. <clears throat> I had to break through that this morning uh, to get the, the dirt. And so I was putting that in the surrounding. There's the crane that will set the logs in a couple days. So there's an overview of the joist framing for the subfloor. Get up on the hill so we can see that a little bit better. One shot. So we're going to do lunch and come back and put that uh, OSB on. See you soon. So this is just before dark. We got the entire subfloor done. The guys have cleaned up and they're going home or leaving the floor and going home. And 
all the subfloor is done. The, all the OSP is installed on the joists. I worked all afternoon, got all the dirt in that I've got available for the backfill, so I didn't have quite enough. But in the spring, we'll cover this up because we're simply running out of time. This is the night before Thanksgiving. And uh, it is getting dark. So this is a very good day. We did the entire subfloor, joists and flooring in one day and I worked on the backfill. And we're also missing some dirt by the greenhouse area, but we're going to dig out of that hill next summer or spring, get some more fill from that, from that uh, hill and bring that in and completely backfill around the backside here. So there's some rocks we found in the excavation we're gonna use for a rock wall along the back here. And this is the machine I used to cover the dirt, move all this pile. This morning there was a giant pile of dirt right here and I got it flattened out. This will be like a parking area turn around next to the house. Now I'm gonna walk up on the actual floor and take a look at it. So Jonathan, before I head out, I wanna to talk to you because I gotta pay you for your work. Okay. Jonathan Fisher from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Sure glad to uh, have you on board today to get this floor done. Well, this is a very nice day. I've got Tyler and Isaac helping me today. We're going to put the board and bat on that front side of the greenhouse yet that's the ICF uh, foam blocks for the concrete so we're gonna put some vertical one inch rough sawn lumber and board and bat over top but I'm gonna walk around and take a look at what we got done so far today so we'll get around this backfill yesterday I backfilled this back part I had a big pile of dirt here and I moved it from right there uh, along the back Got most of it backfilled, there's still some needed, but you can't backfill until you have a floor on it. So, next week, the concrete cap goes on here, and then uh, I can backfill. So, that's a really nice day. I got a lot of area there for turning around, that'd be a parking area. So, a lot more flat area here to uh, come in and turn around. Got the crane set up, ready to set logs here, maybe next week. Around the perimeter of the house, we put this 14 inch metal uh, flashing. It's an L shaped metal that trims out waterproof sit. The logs sit right on top of that on the floor. And that seals off the, the, the rim, the joist cavity. Any moisture will run down that metal. The two and a half inch lip inside. So we got all that on. Tyler's getting some two by fours pressure treat that we're gonna put on the, this foam to carry the uh, one by uh, one inch material for the board mat. We put a two by eight rim uh, pressure treated material just below that and the porch floor will sit on, on this, this lip so it's a little bit lower than the floor. The porch will be in here. So that two by eight pressure treat is to carry the porch floor. So we got that on top of the metal, all the way around where there's gonna be a porch deck. So Isaac's a good cleanup man. He's got some wood burning, scraps and sawdust. So we got this all done, front side. And the porch deck extends from that point right there. And then it goes around around the front here and ends up over at the point of the angle. So we got the rim all the way installed all the way around. Got the trailer moved up, finally got room to put the trailer up here. There was no room before. So pretty excited about today's progress. So we'll see if we can get that board and bat on yet today and that'll be a good day. So this is the end of the day. Isaac, Tyler, and I, we got uh, the metal put around the whole perimeter of the house subfloor, 
and the porch pressure treated put on and we got that far on the board and bat we put some pressure treated two by fours on the styrofoam fasten them with screws and then we put the board and bat on there so that's gonna be nice cover for the front of the greenhouse we might carry that same board and bat along the basement walls so that was a pretty good day let's take a check uh peek at the view Getting dark soon. Sun went down. Thanks for watching. See you next time.